what's up people so today the nba they they threw down the gauntlet and sterling is out of there but you know a lot of people are up in arms uh in a positive way about it mm -hmm. um the the reaction about his views you know being a racist and a, a bigot have been uh all over social media and things of that nature and um, people are saying, you know, justice has been served because he's been removed and banned, had a lifetime ban placed on him through the uh, new commissioner. But, um, you know, the thing is that a lot of people don't know is that Sterling has been the center of many racist lawsuits. Um, his, his, his racist and bigoted views have been going on forever. And just because his now current girlfriend uh well allegedly his girlfriend and allegedly the tape or whatever um it got it got out and TMZ they 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 played it and everybody got to hear some of the things that he said and you know this that and the other but um but personally I feel like this incident which isn't close to the worst thing that he's ever done like I said He's been in the past involved with a lot of racist issues uh, because he owns like apartment buildings and things like that. And he had tenements that he didn't want to, you know, uh, rent out his and rent his um, dwellings because he was saying he was, quote unquote, uh, heard saying that um, blacks and Hispanics um, had a smell and they attracted vermin and he didn't want them to, you know, um, rent out his buildings or anything like that so he settled out of court many times and he said some things within the nba and with the old commissioner stern yeah so for me personally this just shows that the new commissioner is trying to keep things on the even keel he's trying to keep things you know fair because because in all seriousness let's look at the nba the nba is predominantly uh dominated by african americans um so for him to have those views and he is how old in his 80s how old how long has he owned the clippers has he been the owner of the clippers come on now and all of this stuff that's been going on it's been said before but they've pushed it under the rug for so long and with this new commissioner he's like no let me take a stance right now because if i don't do anything now then it's going to be my head. And yes, indeed, it will be. So I applaud him for doing the right thing. But it, it really goes to show, like, you have money. People will overlook a lot of your views and a, a, a lot of things that aren't right. So the thing is, like, with his wife, this woman has been married to him for 60 years, 60 plus years or whatever. And at first she said that, um, yeah, he's a racist and blah, 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 yada, 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 trying to separate herself from it. But then, just uh, last night, I believe, they were caught um, by the paparazzi coming out of a restaurant. And they were asking, oh, are you a racist? And this, that. And he didn't say anything, but she's, ah, he's not a racist. So now, you separated yourself when, they, when it first came out for him being a racist, whatever, this, that, and the third. But now, you're supporting him and you have his back. I think he might have said, well, yeah, you distance yourself then. I'm a racist. Well, distance yourself in this money that I have. So, sweetheart, you can be bought. So now my question to you is, when you know that something is wrong, you know a person with power and money have uh, these ways about them that aren't right on any level, would you be willing to sell yourself out? Would you take that moolah to keep silent? And stay blinded to what you actually see before you. Or would you speak out on it? Move on. Separate yourself. Distance yourself from the injustices that are going on. So that's for you. Speak out. Let's go. Let's hear it. Yeah. Oh, and I have this on because I'm cold. Yeah. Have a good Tuesday, y'all.